Hello everyone and welcome back to the Citadel with me, Grandmaster Stitch, where we're going to be starting a brand new series playing as Jon Snow. Uh, just as a couple of you had, had asked for, so thank you for recommending this playthrough. I have done this playthrough before, like, just for fun. Uh, well, I've done it several times, but only once have I actually succeeded in getting the north, as it can be very difficult. Not because of Jon Snow, it's difficult enough because you don't get many men, but... It all depends on Stannis, really, and whether he stays in the north to help claim it or goes on a complete suicide mission down south, which nine times out of ten he does seem to do. But one, I'm not going to bother checking our character out yet because we're going to leave the Night's Watch and accept Stannis's, obviously, accept Stannis's offer to become Jon Stark. So, but there's a little trick that if we call up our vassals first from the Night's Watch, we then do get to keep them when we accept Stannis' offer, so it just gives us a little bit of extra troops ready for when we do that. So we won't bother with any ambitions or anything just yet until we get Stannis' offer, and then we'll get all that in place. The Magna of Fen, after being allowed to pass through the wall with his defeated people, has declared for our cause for the Night's Watch. Okay. I am a sworn brother of the Night's Watch. My brother Rob and his fellow Northman were outrageously murdered by the Freys at the Red Wedding with the help of the Lannisters. This is despite having guessed right. After all they have done to my family, they have brought the scorn and disgust of House Stark and the entire North upon the Lannisters. The North remembers. Blood feud with the Lannisters. My brother Rob and his fellow Northmen were outrageously murdered by the Freys at the Red Wedding despite having guessed right. This dishonourable action has brought the scorn and disgust of House Stark and the entire North upon the Freys. The North remembers. So we will hopefully avenge that. Lord Commander John, I declare that my brother Robert left no true born issue of his body. The boy Joffrey, the boy Tommen, and the girl Marcella being abominations of incest between Cersei Lannister and Sir Jaime the Kingslayer. By right of birth and blood, I do lay claim to the Iron Throne. Let all true men declare their loyalty. Signed, Stannis the Manis. Of course, I should have known. So now we just need to wait for the event to pop up. Is that uh, more men for us as well? Does the... If we join them together, do we get the... Will the Magna of Fen stay with us? Because that would be interesting. A new heir, Lady Eye of Winterfell, obviously Jane Paul, the fake... Um, okay, the heir's changed now, but yeah, it's the fake Eye of Stark, isn't it? That gets forced to marry Ramza. Here we go. The wall is mine. With the aid of Stannis Baratheon, we have repelled the Wildlings, and now I have been chosen as my, my brothers as the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Stannis' struggle for the Iron Throne continues, however, as he and he proposes that I be his Lord of Winterfell. No, I swore an oath, or yes, that is what I've always wanted. So there we go. At part of his grace is offered to me, King Stannis has offered me the hand of Lady Val, the wildling princess in marriage. She is the most beautiful woman and resourceful as well. She will make a fine Lady of Winterfell. So there we go. We are now known as John Stark. So that is a massive, massive help. But we need to hope that the Mandalees find Rickon because then they will swap sides and join Stannis. So we need, really need to hope that that happens. I'm going to try and invite some people from around the realm to join us from around the north. So like maybe some of the Umber lads. What about Willem Umber? Will he join our court? No. What about Great John's uncle, Morse Crowfood? Will he join us? Yes. And what about Hofer Horsbane? Yes, he will also join us. So that's great. Two people to join us. Foresters. Can we get a forester to join us? Yes, we can. So I'm just doing this. Hopefully it will make more people join our side, maybe. What about the Lord of Whitehill? Can we get one of his sons to join us, maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. What about the Lord of White? Is not. Has he got any siblings or anything? No, he doesn't look like it. Obviously, the Dreadfort is not going to join us. The Glovers and Bear Island are already on our side, so we won't worry about that. What about the Dustins? She has got some siblings. Ricard Risewell. Can we? No. It doesn't look like the Risewells will join us. Ruth, oh, so he's in the Night's Watch. Come, no, we can't invite any of those to court. She doesn't have any children because obviously her husband died many, many years ago. What about the Neck? Can we get Lord Howland to join us? No, they look like they're all away somewhere, so... What about from Rob's old kingdom in the Trident? Can, well, Tully is locked up, but what about Brindon Blackfish? Can we get him to join us? No, he's too distant to interact with. Okay, fair enough. I don't think there's anyone else really in the south that would be willing to join us. What about the Mandalays? 
one of his granddaughters or sons or something like that. No. Lord Locke, do you have a son that might be willing to join us? No, he's in the in the Night's Watch. Oh, no, 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 he's not. Okay, so let's now sort out John. Obviously, John's got decent martial, decent diplomacy and stewardship. Oh, we've got one kill. Oh, oh, that's the wildling, isn't it? With the eagle. Fair enough. We are a dutiful commander, a defender, an inspiring leader, a skilled fighter. We have a dire wolf. We're a wildling sympathizer. We have a legitimized bastard. We're proud, honorable, authoritative, brave, just, honest, kind, and diligent. Can we get maybe anyone to join us from beyond the wall, making a bit of an alliance? What about one of Tormund's sons? No, not at the moment. We can't. I am riding forth to see my father and brothers avenged. Many men are inspired to my cause. Many of my sworn brothers have sworn alliance to, uh, have sworn alliance to me, and even bands of wildlings have vowed to slay my enemies. Winter is coming. Awesome, so now we've gained a load more men as well, so we'll get all of those together. Let's see if I can now invite other people to my court. Yes, no, so Tormund's son isn't interested. What about his daughter, maybe? About other people in the Frost Fangs. Have a look at some of these. Just to try and save some of these wildlings, really. I'd like to get a few of them in our custody because most of these will get wiped out in there. So it would be nice to save some wildlings, especially with John being a wildling sympathizer as well. Garrick Redbeard. Yes, so we can save one of the Redbeards. It'd just be very nice to, like I said, save them. We don't want them all to be wiped out and we can maybe give some of them some land when we wipe out most a lot of the traitorous northern lords and it also expands our court a little bit as well and hopefully gets us some decent court members there we go oral black wolf well i'll just go through guys and i'll invite a load of these and then i'll skip forward and then you can see who joins afterwards Right, so I've just invited a lot of wildlings to join my court, and a lot of them have accepted, so hopefully they will turn up soon. But it will save a lot of them and hopefully give us some decent members for our councils as well. For our ambition, I'm going to choose to have a son so that we can get an heir as quickly as possible. Focus, do I go for war or do I go more for diplomacy? Because John is good at that sort of thing and bringing the North together and try and get people under our rule. Hmm... Not sure which one to go for. I think I will just go for war because his martial ability is better and he's a decent fighter and stuff, isn't he? So well, we will. We'll go for war. And that allows us to have jewels as well. Does that mean we could offer a jewel with Ramzet? No, it doesn't. Okay. We'll leave our council for a minute until our new people arrive. So let's start playing we'll get all our men here together obviously some of these are Stannis's men it's a shame that they aren't all our men oh Skagos has joined us which is awesome to the most excellent Lord John Eric Hornfoot is joining our court okay so we've got a Hornfoot Lord Hallis Whitehunt so we've saved some more wildlings I want to try and save as many as I can just because they will all die else Garrick Redbeard so we've got some Redbeards obviously the descendants of the famous Redbeards and Walton Wanderer. Shoran Shieldbreaker. It's awesome that we're saving all these people and hopefully some of them are good commanders as well. Devon Seal Skinner. Jojen Clanbreaker. I love some of these names. Garrick Redbeard, another Redbeard. Raymond Clanbreaker. Moran Clanbreaker. So another Clanbreaker. Oh, another Clanbreaker. Okay, it's a lot of people. Harl the Huntsman, S Stiff Shivers, Asher Forrester, oh, the Forrester's joined us, awesome, I wonder if the Umbers, oh, can I try and invite the Blackfish again now? Yes, we can, ah, but he's not interested, it would have been nice to have the Blackfish on our side, he's quite old, I could send him a gift to sway him, but... 15 yeah i will do actually and now can we invite him to our court yes awesome that's great to have him on our side lord yon will your son be interested no i didn't know if the veil vale lords are maybe what about harry the heir if we could get him on side invite to court no what about if we send him a gift 
Can we invite him to court now? No. Well, that was a waste of money. Never mind. But, oh, the Mandalays have also joined our court. So that means that Rickon must have been found. So that should pop up at any second, hopefully. And Walrus the Great has also come to our court. Perfect. Lots of wildlings in our court. Another one has arrived. Aha. Hoffa Horsebane has arrived. Gavin Hardhunter has arrived. Harl Hornfoot. Corin Hardhunter. Halla Hardhunter. Morse Crowfood. Reich Longspear. Torog Hardhunter. This is awesome. Loads of people in our court. And we can try and marry off, hopefully, the two Umbers. And that will hopefully get us a better relationship as well. Alice Carstock, why are you here but your husband isn't? That's a shame. Um, right, let's, let's have a look. Where where are the Umbers? So hopefully, we'll be able to get them at some decent wives to get people to join our cause, like the Lady of Castle Kerwin. And she says yes to Morse Crow food, which is awesome. So that will hopefully get Castle Kerwin on our side. Or am I going to end up sending him to her now, though? I didn't think of that. Crap. And um, two more wildlings have just joined. That's great news. Where is... So there's Morzumba Crow's food. Where is Horsebane? Where are you, Horsebane? Oh, we do have Asher Forrester here, though. Oh, he can't... We can't... Ah, his traits prevent him from being married. Ah, dear. Okay. Um, Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Aha, there you are. Hope for Horsebane. Let's try and marry you off to somebody in the north. Wasn't there a woman? Lord down here. Ah, they're on our side anyway. We'll sort that out afterwards then. Right, so we've got more people joining our court. That's awesome. And somebody else. So him and all his children have arrived. Somebody else. I did tell you guys that I did invite a hell of a lot of the wildlings to our court. How, how big is our court now? 48. I accept your suggestion. Hopefully that means that they will join us in the war then. Castle Kerwin. Has he gone to her? It looks like he has. Yeah, that's a shame. That's a bit annoying. I was hoping that would get her on our side, but... Right, now let's sort our council out now, then, that we've got a lot of members. Castellan. Um... Hmm. We'll go with you, then. The Wildling. Oversea Realm, please. Justifar. Diplomacy. We'll go with you. Why have we swapped over to that? We don't want that. Master at Arms... Garrick Redbeard, he's pretty good. Treasurer. We'll go with you. Spymaster. You're not too bad. A maester we haven't got. A priest we haven't got. Minor titles. Designated regent. We'll go with Vow. Bodyguard. We should have quite a few decent bodyguards now. Garrick. Asher Forrester. Hofa. Umba. Yep, you, you're pretty good. And you as well, you're pretty good. Master of the Horse. Let's go for some of these lower ones just to get them on side. Hi, Almanar. Alice Carstark, yep, fair enough. Cupbearer, who likes us the most? I'll go with you because you're younger. Commanders, here we go, right. Who have we got who are decent commanders? Asha. Uh, Hofa Umba. You, and I'm going to leave a space clear for when the Blackfish turns up, because obviously he will be a very good commander. Here he is. Appoint commander. Awesome. There we go. So we've got quite a lot of men. We've just got to wait for the others to show up. We've still got 3,000 here. When they show up. We're going to have almost 4,000 men once they show up. We've just got to hope that Stannis... Please don't go on your suicide mission, Stannis. Please get the north before you end up losing in the south. Can we do something to prevent it with Tommen? Can we plot to kill him or something? He ends up losing because of all these men that he's got down here, which is very annoying. We can plot to kill, but John's thing for that is just terrible. So it's not even going to be worth attempting. I'm not even going to bother trying. Oh, the reeds are also on side. That's interesting. Awesome. 
Gotta wait for these men to get down from the wall that are taking forever. And we'll go straight for the Dreadfox. We've got to get rid of Roos before Stannis loses. That is the only way we can get the north. Uh, yes, all right, I approve Stannis. Right, merge together. March on the Dreadfort quickly. We need to get that Dreadfort before Stannis loses. He's only at minus three so far, but... The Mandalays are taking care of a lot of the Boltons, but they are amassing a big force here, the Boltons, 7,000. But if we just go straight for that Dreadfort and siege it as quickly as possible, that's what we need to do. Try and capture Roos. Right, we have got the manpower here, but we've got a bad supply line, so we'll assault it the first chance we get. Oh, awesome, okay. Lord Walder has been captured. That's good news. We need to capture Roos. That's what we need to do. Okay, Howland Reed has him. That's great news. We're at 25% up already, and it's, got, it's minus 6 for Tommin, so... We've still got a good chance. I wonder how Theon's doing, old Reek. I have just uh, pre-ordered my Theon pop vinyl. I'm so glad that they finally made one. Uh, do any of you guys collect the Game of Thrones pop vinyl as well? I have a hell of a lot. You can't actually see them on the shelf behind me, but I have a stupid amount of them. And I've wanted a Theon one for years. I can't believe it's took them until the show's finished to uh, actually make a Theon one. But at least they've finally made one. Alice Carstark fancies us apparently uh no it's not appropriate john is not that sort of man uh right we've got nine thousand men siege in the dread fort now we need to capture this quickly but yeah i'm so glad they've got a fee on one finally and also the zombie mountain have also pre-ordered that one i've got a lot of uh game of thrones so song of ice and fire merch as you'd probably expect i do actually have a replica of uh john snow's sword long claw as well on the wall Which is absolutely awesome. Come on, get this siege sorted quickly and then we can move on and try and attack the armor before Stannis loses. Okay, we've took the Dreadfort. Okay, who have we got in the prison? Ferric Liddle and Fear. Release anyone who we have common cause. Yes. Have his family put into the dungeon. Will that allow us to win? Surely that's got to give us a, a much better war score. We've took his children, for God's sake. Let's go and attack this main army. Where is he himself? Let's have a look. Where are you, Root? Oh, in hiding. Really? That's very annoying. Because now Stannis is at minus 30 with uh, Tommy and minus 54 with Aegon. So that is very frustrating. We're not going to end up winning this by the looks of it, guys. Lord John, you currently have some high-value prisoners under your control in all realm premises. These are people of the enemies of Stormman. Yeah, as you command, my lord. So I'll hand over the two Bolton prisoners to him. Hopefully that will help the cause. We're at 53%. We have got a chance. We've just got to hope Stannis doesn't do anything stupid down south. And we should be okay. Let's march over to this Bolton force here. Because there's not really much else. Aha! No, there's that Cast Ark army there. We'll go and crush that Cast Ark armor. Come on, guy. At least Stannis is staying in the north. That's the main thing. But that Tommen war score is getting very high in Tommen's favour, which is very worrying. Rickon Stark was long thought to have been murdered by Theon Greyjoy, but Stannis Baratheon and Lord Manderly claim to have found him rescued by the smuggler Davos Seaworth. They now name him as heir of Lord John Stark. That is absolutely great news. I think I'm going to end this episode here though so we can start the next episode with a big event as we hopefully take the north and we've got a lot done today obviously we are beating the Boltons quite well but Stannis is losing heavily to Aegon and Tommen so that could mess up this playthrough so we might only get one more episode guys or half an episode but we'll see how it goes like i said yeah we've got most of the north on our side we've saved numerous wildlings from beyond the wall which is a good thing because as you can see the white walkers have already expanded their domain we've just got this cast arc army and a couple of little bolton armies to take care of and hopefully the north will then be ours i hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you once again to the people who asked me to do this and recommended this playthrough for the channel i really really appreciate it thank you all so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and chat with me down below thank you very much once more and i'll see you next time